day race for uh, GT for what's that been about eight years now. I come from a BMX background, obviously I've raced BMX my whole life, and uh, the last couple years I've been slowly starting to transition into doing some mountain bike stuff. And I won an NBL number one title in 2005, and then uh, 2008 I was on the first U.S. Uh, Olympic team, and that was kind of the pinnacle of our sport. So. And I was able to get a, a silver medal, and uh, that's kind of been my, my claim to fame ever since. When I first got on the mountain bike, you know, it's it's a lot different than my 20-inch. Like, I thought, oh, you know, I'll ride it for a little bit, and I'll be able to kind of pick it up, and that's not been the case. Well, BMX bike, is, I was so in tune to it, but, you know, the track's always hard packed. The berms are asphalt now. Uh, we don't deal with rain. Our, you know, our tires are 110 PSI. And getting to a mountain bike, it's it's like night and day difference. You know, we we don't have to turn on flat ground. We don't have to adjust to weather or bike setup or all that stuff. So it's been it's been a bit of a challenge trying to learn how to, to do it, but it's been fun and I'm kind of like I'm enjoying the process of you know kind of you know relearning how to ride a bike. Almost it feels like I'd love to make a World Cup final. It's like kind of the goal. Yeah, even like when I was on the BMX circuit, like I would always get up early and watch the World Cups. I just think it's a cool sport. Well, I think Menard's like pretty, pretty up there for me because I just think he's like smooth and pretty tall guy. So kind of I can relate to him, but he's just and he's always in the mix. And you can never count him out. So tell us about the uh, cover sheet. It was cool. I mean, I've ridden that trail a few times, and uh, I got there. And I saw the where we were gonna do it. I rode it a few times. Got squirrely a few times, but looking at the cover, it came out good, and I'm pretty excited to see what everyone has to say about it. Is this the first time you've ever been on a cover? No. Yeah. Well, I've been on BMX covers, but yeah, obviously yeah. the first mountain bike one. Is it your first 3D cover? Yes, I'd have to say yes. That's that's a first. <laughs> does it does it freak you out seeing yourself in 3D? I saw it, and I was I didn't quite know what to expect. I was trying to tilt it and do all the deals with it, but uh, it looks awesome, and I'm, I'm excited.